Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia and uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm happy to see you. And today I would like to show you how I bake my macaroons. Um, it happened to be a big order today, so I've decided why not to just shoot this video and show you how I do it. If you want to see it, just stay tuned. So first I want to show you how I set up my station before baking and that's how I go and I have my um, kitchen aid mixer over there also uh, extra plate to throw my egg yolks and that coloring that I need for today I'm making Oreo cookies and cream macarons today so you see Oreos sugar eggs and i love these eggs they're perfect size for me they're large it's really weird i don't go by weight i go by sizing and it's really interesting but these eggs are perfect so i have my bowl and my sift also my spoon and my measuring cup which is uh one and a half uh, or half a cup uh, my plate spatula tall glass with piping bag my almond flour i buy my almond flour at costco and they just recently switched this flour to a different flour i haven't tried that one yet but hopefully uh, the new one is good as this old one and my confectionate sugar also my recipe book some a candle why not <laughs> as I told you I'm making cookies and cream uh, and I have my cookie Oreo cookies that I separated and uh, I need to grate it on my grater also some of the macaroon mixture left over there and toothpick to poke extra bubbles my mats and my baking sheets and my trusted circles were um, yes I drew them myself because I needed a uh, 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 certain um, certain diameter of cookies so I drew my patterns and uh, I have a towel to bang my sh baking sheets instead of on this um, top that is really really loud so I place a towel so it would be a little bit quieter and some macaroons the shells that ready to go and be baked so as you probably heard some beeping on the background uh, one of my batches ready This is my cookies and cream. So if you want to see how I bake my macarons, stay tuned. Okay, quick tip for your butter. If you want your butter to melt fa faster and if you're baking macarons with a uh, filling that involves butter, and it, the butter takes time to soften. So I take a plate and I place my butter sticks on top of my plate and place the plate on my cooking top because the oven is working the heat from the oven rises up and kind of heats up the cooking top so uh, plates warms up plate warms up a little bit and uh, it just speeds up the process of softening so by the time you're gonna bake your uh, cookie shells your butter will be softened and ready to use. So first things first, I'm taking my eggs and for this recipe I need two egg whites. Just crack and separate. You're gonna be your egg whites with five tablespoons of sugar. What I do is I beat my 
egg whites until they a little bit uh, frothy and then I add my five tablespoon of sugar when I've kind of mixed all the sugar into the eggs I like to stop and scrape all the sugar from the uh, walls of the bowl into the eggs and then turn my mixer back on and mix until stiff peaks or just wait until stiff peaks almost stiff peaks because we're gonna add some food coloring When your eggs reach the smooth but not stiff peak consistency, I usually stop and add some food coloring and mix more to the steep stiff peaks. So right now I'm gonna be adding some yellow coloring because I'm making salted caramel macarons for my order and I add I'll start with five and I see if I like the color, then I add more. If not, then I just go with five drops. I like how it looks so I was looking for this golden color and I got this yellowish golden color you can't really see on camera but it looks beautiful and very very nice for the next step you'll need a cup of uh, confectionate sugar and half a cup of almond flour and uh, what you're gonna do you're gonna sift all this through a sift when i see these clumps of uh, flour i don't throw them out i usually press them into the sift and sift to the end until they disappear because they're not clumps of uh, almonds it's just flour and little balls so as you can see there's like barely or yeah, right there you can barely see anything left like clumps of uh, almonds so i ended up with a zero zero waste and i like that next you're taking your egg whites and you place your flour and sugar into your egg whites so and you start mixing i like to start by folding from the sides into the middle first and kind of uh, breaking the middle and going again from sides to middle and then break the middle and again and kind of like Hold like that I don't have a perfect count of how many strokes you need to uh, do and how many times you need to mix I just go by how you see and what I like to do is just scrape uh, my um, spatula because when you reach that perfect consistency of your dough a uh, spatula will have some dough that is that mixed so once in a while I like to kind of clean my spatula on the side of the bowl and kind of work your batter reach the consistency that I like to see from my batter and uh, I think it's a good 
time to stop uh, your mixing. And it should be like a flowing lava. It is really hard to get the perfect flowing lava as everyone say, but it should look something like this. And it works for me and they turn out really nice and beautiful. So this is it. Twist your bag and kind of tuck it in and uh, it can wait until your next step. All right. Your next step will be taking your baking pan and placing your templates. Uh, my templates I drew, they are 75 inches in diameter. And I like to uh, turn my pan upside down, pipe it, and uh, turn my pan back um, to the normal position. <laughs> and. Uh, um, place my piped macaroons and then bang them. wait about uh, 20 to 20 I would say 20 minutes for them to dry and have that perfect skin on top so your finger must be clean when you touch them so they form this kind of a uh, skin so they can form really nice feet so for these uh, macaroons they are uh, salted caramel and what you do at the end you just sprinkle some sea salt As soon as 13 minutes pass, you will take your perfectly baked macaroons. Oh, perfect. And place them on the rack to cool, and there you have it. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below and uh, I'll be happy to answer or help you in any way and uh, if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe for more videos and don't forget to like and share and I'll see you all in my next video bye bye